All right, folks, how are we doing today? It is a beautiful day. It doesn't get much better than this. And uh, Bluebird Day, sun's up. And uh, we've got about a high of 45 degrees. We're, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through what I do on a winter day. Uh, how you gonna find winter crappie, that's key. And we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna bring it on live scope. We're gonna do the active captain. I want you to see those crisp, clean images of catching fish. And I'm really hoping with this, all this temperature drop, we've had some drastic temperatures now down in the 25. Um, I'm really hoping we're gonna run into some school. So stick with me, here we go. We're gonna put some big fish in the boat, go through all the gear, everything I'm using. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna put some big fish in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. A little housekeeping before we get started. Um, I've got a new Facebook group called Live Scope. Everything you need to know. Swing over there, check it out. Just put in Live Scope. Everything you need to know, and it'll pop up. That's growing very quickly. We're really uh, excited about that. But basically, anything that's Live Scope related, you can post there purely for people to learn about Live Scope. Especially the guys that are just now getting started on Live Scope. So it's just a great site. Check it out. Man, folks, you gotta love days like this. It's just beautiful. When you get one of these diamonds in the rough in the winter, in the winter months here in Southern Illinois, you just gotta take advantage of it. We're gonna have a great time on the water. Please subscribe. Let's start the process of finding winter crappie. So let's start off with this, folks. I do use SI when I'm looking for winter crappie, without a doubt. Now, I, I had the, the episode, well, which one should you buy first, all that stuff? And, I, and I'm gonna stick with my guns there. I still think you should buy LiveScope first. That's just my opinion, especially if you're going to do small small lakes, those type of things. A lot of reasons, but that's just me. Everybody can be a little different. But I do use side imaging finding finding winter cropping. And the key there is using that side imaging, trying to find those schools, trying to find those wolf packs, as we call it, of shallow. So I'll scan points, and that's what we're going to do right now is just some scanning some points to find out if we have any schools that are actually shallow and up on that point. Now the thing you have to remember um, is that points aren't just what you physically can see. Points can be under the water. So knowing your lake better will definitely help you because there are points that are, you just can't see them. You don't know that that actual point over there extends all the way out into the lake. So just do some exploring with side imaging and you'll find those uh, invisible points, so to speak, those invisible drop-offs that you can't see. Those are the places that I'm using side imaging. So the number one thing you can look for is bait fish, and this is what bait fish look like on side imaging. Those are fish right there. Black shadows, that's those fish casting that shadow. Some specks right there. So during this episode, I had some microphone issues, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk through what I'm gonna be discussing. This is basically the equipment that I'm using right now. 10 foot Ozark rod, three pound fishing elite series. Um, definitely shooting out there the six pound high vis line from K9 Fishing. I can't say enough good things about it. Low memory, small diameter folks, so call K9Fishing.com um, or check them out without a doubt. I use a split shot, well, although that's not recommended on this smaller diameter fluorocarbon line. Um, basically I'm kind of lazy and I have still I'm still using that split shot but I do plan on changing that up so today we're gonna be throwing out a 32 ounce jig from Jinko fishing and we're gonna put some big fish in the boat it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity and uh, I'll tell you another thing I love about this rod is that it is super light and I make that emphasis a lot of times light but also big enough a good enough backbone to plant that hook in that fish's mouth so Let's put some fish in the boat. Here we go. All right. Another thing you know you have to consider about winter fishing is you have to move, move, move. I'm gonna link a video right here above. I did it a long time ago, maybe about two years ago. Um, and it's all about you got to move so winter fishing is not just about being able to stay in one spot you got to move adjust depths are going to change all that good stuff so let's do some active captain 
that tank right there we saw that did we see all that on active captain we did that's a big fish right there that's what we're looking for bro. you stay with that school as long as you can right So on this day, we fished a lot of different depths. You have to be flexible during the winter time to catch crappie. Some are gonna be shallow, some are gonna be deep. I'm telling you folks, they're just about everywhere, at least on my home lake. So you're seeing us fish right here, me fish right here. I'm 35, 40 foot down for these crappie. And you know, on the flip side, we fish as shallow as four foot, three foot down on my home lake. So being able to adjust to those different, different depths is is key to success in the winter time don't go out there with the idea that you're only going to be fishing 12 foot down so that goes without saying um, good electronics definitely help us now with these deeper uh, deeper crappie Thanks for joining me, folks. I appreciate it. Great day on the water. Big fish. Bam! There you go. Another solid fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Mother. It's colder. It's cold. <laughs> Man, it's cold. Can't, One thing will warm you up. Catch some fish. We got to catch some fish. Good night.